hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 40 of what if kurama gave naruto a dojo to remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and go ahead and check out anime king 2 and if this is the first time you're hearing of anime king 2 that's my second channel so switch over there i'll be leaving a link at the top of the description and if you enjoy the lovely what ifs over there give it a subscribe so i post a new episode of uchi and naruto the sage over there so go ahead and check out that and enjoy and i also post a new episode of what if naruto got a new bloodline and on this channel later on i'm gonna be posting what if naruto was trained to be a mercenary so stay in tune and enjoy that and also what if naruto was nasusuke so enjoy it as well and if you're new to Anime King and this is the first time you hear my voice, what you waiting for guys, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the Anime King family and be a part of the channel. And thank you for all of your help and your support. And also comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying to all of you. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the last time we left off, Kimimaru was taken to the interrogation department. Well, not to harm him, but just to get the location on Orochimaru. And all the things that Kimimaru knew about him. And Naruto was going to go to the forest of death with Kushina and Fu and Hinata. As the Kayubi is going to train Naruto. As she is not allowing Naruto to go on the training trip. As she wants to be the one to train him. Naruto also met his dad. And also Sakura and Naruto had a fallout. As she was angry that Naruto brought back Sasuke so injured as he didn't even wake up yet. But as she said that an Eno left, Sasuke woke up as two Anvil guards were at his door as he was going to go through a trial to see if he should be punished severely for running away from Konoha and nearly becoming a missing name to join Orochimaru. So the last part we left off was when Naruto headed off to the forest of death. So yeah, you guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. Naruto and his group made it to the spot that the Kayubi told him about. As he and his group saw the spot, it was a perfect waterfall for training and for bathing and all that good stuff. Alright, we will worry about patching up camp later. For right now, let's get right into it, Naruto told everyone. All of the girls nodded and immediately placed their things down on the ground. Fu and Kushina were used to camping, but Hinata wasn't, at least that what Naruto thought. As he made that for a note later. Alright, is everyone ready? Naruto asked. As Fu grinned as she went through her backpack. I am ready here, Naruto, Fu said. As she took out some books. Kushina nodded and so did Hinata. Naruto, come into the woods. You will find me about 10 feet from where you guys are. The Kayubi told him as Naruto nodded. Alright, Naruto said as he crossed his hand. Shut the clone jutsu as he created three clones. Alright, I am going into the woods for a bit. I'll be back later, Naruto said. As he ran off, leaving the three blood clones to the girls. Alright, I will work with Fu on her Fu in jutsu, said the first clone. And I will work with mom on teaching me kenjutsu over here, the other one said. Alright, so that leave me with Hinata, the other one said. As he activate his Byakugan. With the real Naruto. Naruto ran through the trees as he appeared at a spot. As he saw the Kayubi in the trees. As he jumped down. Ready to begin Naruto? The Kayubi asked. As Naruto nodded and the Kayubi smiled. Alright then. I am going to start teaching you about your clan. And your connection to the Sage of Six Path. She said. The Sage of Six Path created all form of ninjutsu. He was also the wielder of the Renegon Dojutsu. As Naruto listened intently until the Kayubi asked a question. Tell me, what do you know about the Sage of Six Path, Naruto? The Kayubi asked as Naruto scratched the back of his head for a while. Well, nothing really. Just what you told me. And about the Renegon. As the Kayubi cursed, the Sage wasn't so popular in this time. As for the next hour, the Kayubi sat there with Naruto as she told Naruto about the Sage of Six Path and the Renegon Dojutsu, all about that, and the descendants that passed down into Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. 
She also went over the history about Madara and Hashirama building the village as she told Naruto that the Senjus and the Uzumakis were cousins and they part because of the war between the Uchiyas and the Senjus. After that the Kayubi told him that she will be teaching him a lot for the two years. So what are we waiting for? Let's get down to it Naruto said that smile on his face. With Tsunade, she sighed as she heard that Sasuke woke up in the hospital. She will have the trial tomorrow since there was no avoiding it. Since Sasuke had left of his own free will and she knew people wouldn't accept that. To them, even though Naruto has a Sharingan, few doubted that Naruto could master it like Sasuke would so they still wanted the Uchiha around. Tsunade sighed as she rested her head on the table. She had to gather all the clan heads for the trial and Naruto wasn't anywhere around to be found. She knew that the Kayubi is training him but she still don't know where. Suddenly there was a puff startling Tsunade as a small fox appeared with a scroll in his mouth. A summoning? Tsunade said to herself. Tsunade I presume said the small fox as the fox gave Tsunade a scroll that was hold by his tail. This is from Naruto as the fox handed over the scroll as Tsunade took it and opened it and read it. Tsunade, if you're wondering, I am in the forest of death, currently training. I was hoping to get an update on Kimemaru, Kiba and Haku. You can contact me by this fox. Later and the note ended. Tsunade took out another piece of paper as she started to write. As the fox waited till she was finished, Can you give this to Naruto for me? Tsunade asked. As the fox nodded and took the scroll and poofed away. After the fox was gone, Shizune entered the office. Tsunade, I have the scroll. Are you just doing this so you can get out of work? Shizune asked. Of course not, Shizune. This benefits the village, said Tsunade. With a blood clone with Fu, the fox appeared as he handed the scroll to the blood clone. As Naruto told Fu to keep on reading the book about sealing jutsus, as he opened the scroll as his eyes widened, the boss must know about this he said as he headed off. He's in a hurry isn't he said the Nadabi. As Fu nodded, must be the reaction from that scroll. So when is something going to happen between you and him? The Nadabi asked, making Fu blush as she closed the book. What are you talking about? Fu asked as Nadabi rolled her eyes at her container. Oh, get real, girl. You like him so much. You strained yourself not to blush when he's teaching you. Was it that obvious? Fu asked. It was, said Nadabi. You see, you're thinking about him now and you're blushing so much. I am not, said Fu as she opened the book and stuck her face in it. With the real Naruto and the Kayubi, Naruto sighed as he lay on the ground. He knew the two natures he need to have for wood release would be the combination of water and earth, which he wasn't perfect in. Well, if he counted Haku's ice release, which included water, he was good at that. And sand was a type of earth, but not the type of earth to make wood at all. Well this isn't good. I don't have earth release, said Naruto as he looked at the Kayubi. It's alright Naruto, don't get depressed. Tell you what, we will work on the others first, before we try to make you possess the Mokiton ability that the first Okage possess. Suddenly, the clone rushed out to Naruto. Boss, boss, you have to read this. It's out of this world. As he handed Naruto the scroll and ran off to go back to Fu. As Naruto raised her eyebrow, as he unwrapped the scroll and opened it as he started to read. Naruto, it's good to hear from you. I know it has been only a few hours since you disappear and the sun is going down. So I'll make this quick. I got your message from your summon and I want to tell you that Sasuke has waken up. Naruto narrowed his eyes at the mention of Sasuke as so did the Kayubi, but he continued to read the note. But we have to have a trial for him since he left. I must have all the clan heads tomorrow. This might take all the day, 
So I hope you have the time to spare. That's one thing. And the other is, congratulations, brat. You've been selected to participate in Konoha Up and Coming HPT. I'll go into later details of what it is at another time. See you tomorrow, brat. Naruto raised an eyebrow at the HPT as he wonder what that is. But he will have to go to Sasuke trial tomorrow. And that just bummed him out. As Naruto rubbed the back of his head. Looks like I'm gonna be busy, said Naruto. As the Kayubi nodded. Naruto rolled up a scroll and put it back in his pocket. Let's get done what we can get done, said Naruto. Alright, said the Kayubi as she's teaching Naruto Ying release. Like I said, Ying release is with your imagination, you must think of something and bring it to form. It's difficult since you're creating something out of nothing, but you can do it. I will try to demonstrate it if I can, the Kayubi said as she closed her eyes and took deep breaths. After about 5 minutes, Naruto watched the Kayubi's chakra leak from her body and form into a small fox. Wow, I didn't think that I would actually get it, but that is what it is. Imagination pushed the limit to actually become real with your chakra. So the key is to clear your mind of all other things and focus on something you really want. Naruto then sit down as he closed his eyes. As he thought about his father, as he knew he couldn't bring him back, but he just wanted to see him. After about 10 minutes, Naruto snapped back open his eyes and nothing happened. Well, that's for that, said Naruto, as he lay on the grass. Naruto, these are high level technique that the Sage of Six Pal possess. You can't perform them so easily. But I promise you will do it and I'll help you. The Kayubi said and Naruto nodded. As they then spend the rest of the time with the Kayubi teaching Naruto some basic fighting techniques and some other abilities. Hours later, as Naruto was huffing, well, I guess that's that for today. As he went back to Fu, Hinata, and his mom, he dispelled all of the clones. As he got all of the information, as he dropped to the ground. Nice work, Fu. Nice work, Hinata. Mom, you're evil, Naruto said. Making Kushina giggle. So, are we going back to the house now? Hinata asked as Naruto shook his head. Nope, we're camping. That is why we have our bags and everything else, Naruto said. With Kimimaru. He was currently getting up from a chair as Ibiki and Anko nodded to each other. And that is all you can tell us about Orochimaru and his bases. Ibiki asked as Kimimaru nodded. The last thing he wanted to cause was problem. So he told the truth and nothing but the truth. Alright, according with Naruto and Snally's orders, you can go. Anko know the way to Naruto's house so she can take you there. Alright Kimimaru, let's go. But I doubt Naruto will be home. He said that he was going on a training trip. I don't know where though. Well, I'll just drop you by his house, Anko said as Kimimaru nodded. As the both of them left the interrogation department, but they stopped when they saw Snade leaning on the wall. Snade said uncle. As Snade got to her feet, Hey uncle, I see that Kimimaru is done with his investigation. I'll take him now. I promised the brat that I'll get him look over. So, come on Kimimaru, said Snade. With Kimimaru and Snade, both of them entered the Konoha hospital. As Tsunade smiled at Kimimaru, that brat always getting me to do something unexpected. Only him can get me to look over one of Orochimaru's former shinobis. Kimimaru heard that as he looked at the ground. As Tsunade patted him on the shoulder, I didn't mean it like that. You did tell us everything, so I guess the brat is a good judge of character. As Kimimaru nodded. After a while, Kimimaru was now on a table. As Snade asked him, do you know what kind of disease do you have? I am sorry. But I don't. Kabuto wasn't sure either. I only took medication that temporarily helped me. Kimimaru said, making Snade sigh. An uh, unknown disease. Alright then, let's see, said Snade. As Snade's hand started to glow green, as she welled from his head to his throat. As she then sent all of his chakra points. As she went down to his chest, as her hand went to his stomach and traveled through his arms and legs, 
as Shizune was also in there. Snatted and turned with wide eyes to Shizune. Shizune, get me a vital for calcium right now. I want you to extract it and prepare for minor surgery tomorrow, said Snadi. As Shizune walked off in a hurry, as Snadi hand stopped glowing and she allowed Kimimaru to lean up. Kimimaru, you have osteosporosis. It is a condition where the bone in the body dwindle down and become brittle. This is because of a low calcium, vitamin D, or tissue loss. Your abilities of a member of the Kai Gai clan and you use your bone and the use of a lot of calcium. Normally this isn't an issue but using your bone for a long period of time will cause you disease in other ways. If you had kept fighting with Naruto in the forest you would have used up the rest of the calcium in your body and that would have killed you, Snade said. As Kimimaru eyes narrowed a bit as Snadi didn't smile, lucky for you and Naruto, there is nothing so bad I can't fix, she said a smile on her face. So don't worry, you will be just fine, she said. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Madara, what is the meaning of this? Pain asks, as both Madara, well the masked man who Pain thought is Madara and Orochimaru was there, as Orochimaru chuckled, if we want this to work, we need Orochimaru, he's a powerful asset, the masked man said, as Pain narrowed his eyes at Orochimaru. I don't see why we need him, he left the Akatsuki, said Pain. It's ideal that we have him, deal with it, said the masked man, as he vanished into his black hole, leaving Orochimaru with Nagato and Conan. The air around the three was tense as Orochimaru started to walk away. I am watching you, so don't do anything against us. Remember, you're still a mortal, and I am a god, said Pain. Orochimaru let out a chuckle. Would a dream of it, he said, as he walked off as Conan stood next to Pain. Nagato, is this a good idea? Conan asked as Pain walked around the room. For now we will go with it, but don't let Orochimaru out of your sight, Pain said, as Conan nodded. The next morning, Naruto saw the sun rise as he slowly got up as he rubbed his eyes. The Kayubi had trained him in the mindscape so his body slept good and nice as he turned around to see Fu and Hinata and to his other side was Kushina and the Kayubi as he then created the four clones and left them behind. See your ladies later, Naruto said as he hopped on one of the trees. As his senses kicked in and he had to dodge a kunai. As Naruto quickly flipped around his own kunai. Hey kid. As Naruto just smiled as Anko was there. Naruto flipped over to the next tree. As he stood next to Anko. Hey Anko. Just doing some training. So where are you off to she asked. As Naruto groaned. I have to get ready for Sasuke's trial. I thought they would have waited until Sasuke was out of the hospital to do this, but I guess not. As Anko heard about this, well, all of the Jonis did. Well, good luck, said Anko. Oh wait, said Naruto. What is it? I want to ask you, do you know anything about this HPT thing? Naruto asked. Yeah, said Anko. As she started to rub the back of her head. Well, I don't know exactly what it is. But I heard that it was given to all of the Jonins. So, Snadin is not telling anyone what this is. Naruto just sighed. Well, I'm gonna get going, Naruto said. As before he left, Uncle grabbed his arm. Come on, why not stay with me for a little longer, Uncle said, licking her lips as Naruto turned around. Because Snadin will have my head if I don't go. You know, you should tell Tasumi that she should shear you. Well, she already does, but she's the alpha of the pack, and if you want to take that from her, you'll have to fight her, said Naruto. Beat Tasumi? Uncle thought. Well, I don't guess so, said Naruto, as he said goodbye and he headed off. Back at the Namikaze compound, Naruto quickly rushed home as he got his clothes, as he then headed off to the Hokage Tower, as he noticed most of the people were up 
and already walking around. He Naruto, someone called, making Naruto turn his head as he saw Kakashi, Asuma and Kuronai at the table. Hey Kakashi Sensei, hey Asuma, Kuronai, said Naruto as the three of them nodded. You're going to Sasuke trial, am I right? Asuma asked as Naruto nodded. That's not going to go well, Asuma said, making Kuronai and Kakashi nod. Well, good luck Naruto. Oh, did you get the scroll about the HPT? Kakashi asked as Naruto nodded. I wonder what it's about, Kuronai said as everyone shrugged. Well, I'll see you guys later, Naruto said as he headed off. At the Hokage's tower, Naruto met up with Tasumi on his way as the both of them walked up the stairs and went to the meeting room. As they saw Hayashi, Choza, Shikaku, Inoichi and Shibi in the room already at their seats. As all of them greeted each other respectfully. This is so bothersome. Why do we have to be early for this? Shikaku said as Naruto rested his head on the table. What can we do? That's life, Naruto said to Shikaku. Hayashi then turned to Naruto as Naruto could feel the gaze on the back of his head. As Naruto turned around, Can I help you, Hayashi? Naruto asked. How is Hinata's training going? Hayashi asked. As Naruto smirked, Oh, she's doing great. You will see some improvements once I'm done with her, he said. As he got a raised eyebrow from Hayashi, feeling tense, Naruto changed the question. Where is the civilian council? Naruto asked. None of them can attend. This has to do with Sasuke being a shinobi, said Tasumi. About three minutes later, Sanadi came through the door as she saw everyone already waiting. Alright, I am sorry for calling you all like this, but we must do the trial for Sasuke Uchiha right now. Bring him in, said Sanadi, as an Aldevu brought Sasuke in, as he had on a few bandages. As Sasuke sat in his chair, as he glared at Naruto, who glared back. Sasuke Uchiha, do you know why you have been summoned here today? Sanadi asked in a stern voice, as Sasuke refused to speak. As they all narrowed their eyes at Sasuke, especially Hayashi. You will do well to answer the Hokage, said Hayashi, as he looked at Sasuke. How could I not know? This is my trial, am I right? Sasuke said in an arrogant tone. That's right, we are discussing your punishment for leaving the village without authorization, Snade said. As Sasuke rolled his eyes, Have you anything to say? Inoichi said. As Sasuke looked up at them all, What I did was no consequence of all of you. It's my own problem and I want to deal with it in my own way. I am sick of this village holding me back from my revenge on Itachi. As everyone narrowed their eyes, Naruto sighed as he looked at Sasuke. He has been in that spot so many times, but now it was different. And what would you do when you get your revenge on Itachi? Sasuke asked, even though he didn't want to answer it. He thought about it for a few seconds. As the council waited for his reply, I am not sure. But I refuse to let that stop me from killing Itachi. Orochimaru offered me more power and I took the chance, said Sasuke as he glared at Naruto. Do you know that he just wanted your body? The only reason why he wants you is because he cannot get Itachi. So he was going to train you and make you become powerful so he can use you as a vessel. Orochimaru is a fool. He can never defeat a wielder of the Sharingan. Once I had gotten all of my use out of him, I would have just killed him myself. Sasuke Uchiha, you're wrong. Orochimaru is a genius shinobi. He would have killed you without battering the eye. If you want power, you should get it like a shinobi. Sasuke then turned around as he looked at Naruto. As a grin came on his face, as Naruto could tell that he was going to do or say something stupid. Then what about the dope there? He has his own dojutsu and he took the Inuzaka, the Hayuga and other Keke Genkais. He gets power by taking them and what's wrong the way I do it? Sasuke asks. Before anyone could answer, Tasumi stood to her feet. Because Sasuke, I as the Inuzaka head 
taught Naruto the Inuzaka clan techniques and allow him to use them. I trust him enough to allow that, said Tatsumi, making Naruto smile as Hayashi stood to his feet also. Naruto has apologized to my clan for copying our dojutsu and to me that is worthy of my respect and Naruto has proven to be a great user of the Byakugan and we trust him to use it wisely. Tell us Sasuke, would you apologize to those who you copy from? Hayashi asks as Sasuke scowl at that, his plan backfire. Enough of this, what are you going to do? Send me to jail? He said, not wanting to hear anything else. Snade turned as she looked at everyone's reaction, until Naruto spoke. You're just like Itachi, said Naruto, bringing everyone's attention to him. As Sasuke looked over at him, clenching his hands, as he immediately got up, as he knocked back the chair in anger. Don't you compare me to Itachi, I am nothing like him, take it back Sasuke yelled as he seemed to forget his place. Some of the Anvu were about to move and stop Sasuke, but Snade raised her hand as she wanted to see where Naruto is going to take this. Oh, you're not. Itachi left and betrayed Konoha. You left and pretty much betrayed Konoha. Itachi joined a group of S-rank criminals. You tried to join Orochimaru, an S-rank criminal. Face it Sasuke, you're the younger version of Itachi. Naruto said, as Sasuke remained silent for a minute, as he knew for a doubt that Naruto was correct, he wanted with all of his might to tell him off, but he realized that he was going down the same path as Itachi. So what should I do? I don't know what to do, Sasuke said, surprising everyone. It was like Naruto completely shot Sasuke's arrogant pride down to the ground, as Naruto felt everyone's eyes on him. Naruto jumped out of his seat as he walked up to Sasuke. As he stared Sasuke into the eyes and grabbed Sasuke by the collar. You stay here, you're an ass. But you're Konoha ass, said Naruto. As long as you're in Konoha, I am not letting you go anywhere. Train here and earn your power in the right way and when your time comes, you will fight Itachi. Naruto said, as the both of them then met eyes as they looked at each other in a steering contest. As Naruto broke the steer and returned to his seat as he saw some of the others smiling at him. Well Sasuke, there is still a matter of your punishment. Snade said as Sasuke sighed as he got ready for it. Sasuke Uchiha, for leaving Konoha without supervision. You will be placed in jail for 4 days and when you are released, you will be placed on probation and you will have Anvu watching you until you are deemed trustworthy, Snade said. Sasuke wanted to say something, but he didn't as he just nodded as Snade waved her hand for the Anvu to take Sasuke away. A very strange method, Namikaze, Shibi said, as Naruto grinned. Yeah, wasn't it awesome? Naruto said, making some of the others chuckle. Well, if that is all, Snade, I am going to sleep, Shikaku said getting up from his seat, making everyone so it drop. The, sh the Naras are really lazy, thought Naruto. Oh yeah, said Naruto. Snade, what is this HPT thing you sent to everyone, Naruto asked. As Shikaku sit back down as he all turned to her, as Snade looked at their confused faces. No spoilers. I will tell you guys at the end of the week, Snade said, as she walked out as everyone else walked out with a sigh. Why do I feel like a prank is coming? Naruto asked himself. And with that, Naruto headed off to Ichiraku Ramen. Naruto went in as he saw the old man. Hey old man, how about some ramen? As the old man grinned at him. Naruto my boy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Sorry about that, I guess I've been a bit busy, Naruto said. So. How about six bowls of miso ramen with lots of pork, Naruto said, as the old man nodded. Is that Naruto? Someone said, as Naruto turned to see Amy. Nice to see you, Amy, Naruto said, as she instantly came around and gave Naruto a hug. I thought that you forgot about us, Amy said, as Naruto grinned. How could I do that, Naruto said. 
asked Amy, shrugged their shoulders. As the old man did the ramen, Naruto and Amy caught up on some old times. Time skip. After Naruto ate his ramen, he headed off, as he then saw the same purple here on Vu, jumping on rooftops, as she was the one with Kimimaru, and got all flustered when Anko took off her mask, as time skip had passed and it was no night, as Naruto saw her spear reflected in the moonlight, as Yujiro was running across the rooftops, as she was heading to the memorial stone, as she had few flowers in her hands, but she felt like someone was watching her. But guys, I'm gonna be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to post it. Remember to share this to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also go ahead and check out Uchi and Naruto the Sage on my second channel, Anime King 2. And also, what if Naruto got a new bloodline? Check out that and enjoy as well. But yeah guys, and after this I'm going to be giving you what if Naruto was trained to be a mercenary and also what if Naruto was in a Susuke. So stay in tune for all of the love the what ifs coming your way. But for now, I'm out of here. Peace.